And now give it a little mix, but take it easy. You, yeah. That Tell me, will you really, really, really think it's more lyrical? Cause every time I go somebody gotta see the medical And every time I come I'm eating everything that's edible Hello, welcome back to our channel, my name is Moss, as you know I cook on this channel now on the menu for you guys today I will be making jacket potato Well hey, are you guys excited? Are you ready? Cause I am excited I've never made jacket potato before I'm not really a big fan of it But I'm gonna give it a go today And put my kind of twist in it um, let's see how it goes, but before we go any further, I need you to subscribe to the channel at Mostusifar. Once that's done, move over to Instagram, follow me on Instagram as well, at Mostusifar. I guess let's begin the show now. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we have four humongous potatoes. What you want to do is grab a fork. But before you grab your fork, make sure you've washed them, they're clean, there's no mud or dirt or anything on them. Get them as clean as you can, right? Grab it and then you wanna, uh, yeah, you wanna do that to it with your fork, right? Go all the way around. And you just wanna, you know, just do that, right? It helps it cook better, the heat goes in and all of that and whatever. Right, that's done. Now, you just want to put a plus sign on it, right? Not so much, just very, just like so, that's it. Okay. There you go. You just want to kind of cut the skin, that's all, right? There you have it, done. I've got my oven on preheat. What you wanna do is quite simply open it, just put it on the tray. Get some mushrooms, wash them, all right? It looks a bit, yeah. It doesn't look the most best, healthiest looking mushroom, but it is what it is, all right? We're gonna lock down again, mate. What you wanna do is chop them up, okay? Oh, oh. Chop them up nice and small, thin, whatever. Okay, get that in the middle. Just, you can do this if you want, it's up to you. Just kind of dice it very, um, okay. You can do this, you don't have to do this. Honestly, I just thought of this just on the spot. It would be a lot easier to put on the potatoes if it's smaller, right? Just like so. Some bits are gonna be bigger than others. It doesn't really matter. So it's entirely up to you. Now, put this in a plate. Leave it to a side for now, because we don't need it quite yet. We've got a long way to go for our food to be prepared. Two pieces of chicken breast. What you want to do is get rid of ex that excessive fat that's got going on on the side there. We don't need that, right? Chop it up into very small, fine pieces. Any more bits of fat? Any bones sometimes stuck here? Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Right. Mm, extra as you see, get rid of it. You don't need it, you don't like it. Chop it off. See you later, mate. Right. Let me get rid of this one now. Small bits, okay? There you go. You want to grab that, pour it in. Okay, done. Moving over, I'll show you what we're going to do next. Right, 
Now it's time to make the salad. Now you can either put salad next to it, put coleslaw next to it, some people want it differently, whatever. I'm making salad, right? Here I've got some Persian pickles, lettuce and tomatoes. What you want to do is quite simply just remove the packaging, okay? And always, I don't know, it's a thing with me. I always take the first layer off, I don't know. It's a weird thing I do. I can't explain it, don't ask. Sometimes even the second layer. Anyway, you want to chop. Alright. Right, stick it in a bowl, flick it like that. Right, there you go, beautiful. Make sure you've got clean hands, yeah. If you've got dirty hands, don't talk to me. Clean hands, cooking, dealing with food, clean hands. Don't ever forget that. Chop this bit off from the tomato. See you later. Same thing with you. See you later. Go down the middle. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous this is. When you say, right? Just flick it in there. Get in there, mate. Right? Let that be. Now these, not too small, so you can get them in the fork. Yeah. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Now stick it in there. Gorgeous. Do you know what? I may need to get a bigger bowl because I'm going to make the sauce and I will not be able to mix it. Damn. Right, I, guys, as you can see, I've got a bigger bowl. Hopefully, this will do the job. Stick it in there. Right, that's it. That's much better. Get rid of that. Now, put this to the side. What you want to do is make the sauce to go obviously with the salad, right? What you want to do is get some yogurt. I always get mine 10% fat because I like that and it's yummy. Right, stick it in there, maybe a little bit more. Bada bing, bada boom, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you want to add a pinch of salt. Right. A bit of pepper, okay, and then here's the big boy olive oil, uh, not olive oil, sorry, lime juice. You want to add some lime juice, and I will add some olive oil to it as well. Right, just a little bit now, yeah, get that, and now. Give it a little mix, but take it easy. You, yeah, that, that what I was about to say, you don't want it to splash and it just splashed. So you want to avoid that, right? I should have used a bigger cup. Hmm. Nothing goes to plan. And now, clean up your mess before you go to the next stage. Good. All right, bring this here, pour it in. Last bit of sauce that's in there, stick it in there. Mm. 
and it's beautiful. What you want to do is just stir it all up. Mix it, all right? Mm. That lime juice is something else, I'm telling you. Beautiful, it's a taste. It's an amazing taste. Yeah? Nice and simple, right? Happy days. Simple as that, a nice little salad. Yeah, make sure it's all mixed up nicely. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right. Now, we're gonna put this bad boy back in the fridge for now. Because we still got a long way to go. We've got another 20 minutes until the, the potatoes are ready. So now, what you wanna do, actually this one is easier, isn't it? You wanna turn this on on full heat, right? And get some olive oil in there. There you go, beautiful. All right? Whilst that's going, hit it with some pepper. Hit it with some salt. Hit it with a pinch of turmeric. Yeah. You can also add a bit of paprika in there and all. There you are. Now what time is it? Time to mix. Let it all marinate. Look at that, would you just look at that, this is amazing, isn't it, it definitely does look amazing, it looks amazing to me, right, that's all marinated, everything same colour, one colour, looking good, heat is on, you want to just like pattern it out so it all gets cooked nicely. Right. I'm going to let that be for a few minutes. Go wash some dishes, I've got a lot to do. Right, coming back from a quick dish wash. Washing up the dishes. And this is what I've come back to. Look at that. We're getting there, we're getting there. It is looking good. So, now that our chicken is looking rather cooked-ish, what you want to do is add the mushrooms, okay? So now you see why I chopped it up into small pieces, it fits nicely, right? Get it all in there. Oh my God, get rid of that. Now this is going to give some, really some water. And it's going to take time to, uh, you know, evaporate and all of that. So let it do its thing. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our chicken. Check it out. Chicken and mushrooms in there. All right. Everything's, um, you know, cooked rather. The water's pretty much evaporated from the mushrooms and all of that. And I'm going to turn off the oven. I've turned this down as well, right? So I'll leave that there for now. What I need is I'm gonna get that. Okay. Hopefully it's gonna do the job. Hopefully. What I really wanna do is oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Didn't really think this through, but there you go. There's that. There's that and that. Get out, my hand is burning. 
Okay, that's that part done. Now, how are you gonna get this out? Be careful with these because these are quite hot. Just put that here for now. Um, yeah. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take two of these away. Yeah, and now get a knife. Get a nice knife. Can you guys see that by the way? Yeah. Um, when we make the cuts earlier, make them deeper. Um, just be careful because it is quite hot. And uh, yeah. Get some butter. Yeah. I don't want to use too much, but there you go. There's that. Wipe off the excess on there. Hopefully we didn't do too much of a bad job on this because I don't want it to rip. And then you kind of like, it's still hard in there, you know. It's hot, I'm telling you. Time for the moment. You want to pour a little bit of this in there, okay? Yeah, same thing with that. That would do, right? And then, get some milk, some cheese, pour it on top, okay? like so and then put this bad boy in the top bit of the oven just so it melts the cheese give it five minutes and then bring the bad boy out okay ladies and gentlemen it's been a few minutes so let's get our potatoes out and see how we do. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Now, the moment of truth. How are you gonna get it into the plate? Um, I wasn't taught this part, you know. The hard bit done. Let me have a taste. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Guys, remember our salad? Yeah. Give it a little mix. Beautiful. And then just. Place it down on the side. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your jacket potato. Bon appetit. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel, guys. See you in the next video. Tell me, who you really, really, really think is more lyrical? Because every time I go to somebody, gotta see the medical, and every time I come.